this is code.org. We need to pick all of the lettuce, okay? So this is like what we have been using. We have one block in the workspace, the win run block, and five blocks that we can use. So I'm going to just start using blocks to test stuff out. I'd first move forward, I think, and then I pick one piece of lettuce, and then I'm going to move forward. Obviously, I'm going to go over here, but I like to plan it out. It's really good to see it all laid out, too. It helps you process through the solution. So how many times here? Five times. And then I'm going to move forward again and then pick lettuce, but I don't know how many times. Hmm. Let's see. So I pick, wow, I'm fast. Okay, so, and notice that these question marks randomly change how much lettuce we have. So we don't know how much there's going to be. I do know, oh, let me reset, that I need to move forward. Now that I move forward, what should I do? Well, why don't I say as long as there's lettuce, while there is lettuce there, I'm going to pick it. Okay, and then the computer will auto stop once I say, nope, no lettuce, I'll be done picking it, and I could move forward again. Let's see. No lettuce, move forward. And let's see, do they? This way, because it randomizes these numbers here, even if it's a random number, not five or whatever, it just keeps picking as long as there's lettuce. Well, what would I want to do next? I know there is five here, right? I know there's going to be five lettuce, but it doesn't really matter if I know the number. I can still just use while well, there is lettuce. It works. Pick all that lettuce. And then I want to move forward again, I think, and do it again. It's great to run code a bunch and test everything out. There's the second loop, and here's the last wall loop. And then I would want to do this two more times. Well, look, instead of writing this out each time, I wrote it once, twice, three times, once, twice, three times, four or times, five times. Hmm. Why don't I take this whole thing and instead of keep rewriting it, drop it in the repeat block, get rid of this, and test it out. This is called nesting a loop. So we're asking the computer to do something five times, and inside of that, once move forward, of the once each five times move forward, but then as many times as lettuce is there, pick lettuce every time it loops. So for five turns, it picks as much lettuce as is there, and then goes on. We did it.